Maybe the only film of Kurt Kurosawa's I haven't seen post Rashomon. Um, there's some of his early films I haven't seen, and there's a lot of films of his that he wrote that he didn't direct that are very unavailable. 143 minutes. This one does not have Toshiro Mifune in, and it might be why I haven't seen it yet. And it's, I know, a very slow movie. Comes with a booklet. The inside, you have some nice still photograph artwork and the booklet is mainly text in fact it's basically all text except for the cast list about the transfer this is going to be very good reading material for me I may read some of this tomorrow morning if I get a chance. I really like to read the whole thing. The whole big article there. Then there's a second article. It comes around the back here. And there's a nice picture. Read you the first lines here. Sometimes I think of my death. Akira Kurosawa has written, I think of ceasing to be, and it is from those thoughts that Akiru came. The story of a man who knows he is going to die, the film is in search for affirmation. The affirmation is found in the moral message of the film, which in turn is contained in the title. Akiru is the intransitive verb meaning to live, in Japanese of course. This is the affirmation, existence is enough. But the art of simple existence is one of the most difficult to master. When one lives, one must live entirely, and that is the lesson learned. And I won't continue on, but, you know, very deep, very good. I look forward to uh, seeing this movie in its completion. But I also look forward to, if there's some kind of special features on here, newly restored, uncompressed, mono soundtrack, audio commentary by Steve Prince. Interesting. I'm not used to him. I don't know who that is doing the audio commentary. I'm used to Donald Ritchie doing uh, on a audio commentary. So it'll be interesting to hear someone else do a Akira Kurosawa commentary. And he's the author of Warriors, Camera, the Cinema of Akira Kurosawa. I have seen that book before in a catalog, so that'll be interesting. A Message from Akira Kurosawa for Beautiful Movies, 2000. A 90-minute documentary produced by Kurosawa Productions. That will be nice as well. Part of the Masterwork series, uh, wonderful create interviews. And... New subtitles plus an essay by critic. The essay is in the book. Okay, so there you have it. I look forward to uh, being an Akira Kurosawa completist as far as seeing all his movies. So that's one of the missing pieces to the puzzle.